Good morning, I'm Paige Holsey. This is your News 4 update. We do have updates to two developing stories. First, a St. Louis police officer said to be in good shape after being shot. It happened shortly after 7 last night in the LaSalle Park neighborhood near Shoto and Tucker. That's just south of downtown St. Louis. News 4 crews were on the scene shortly after that shooting, and here's what we know about what happened. Police tell us the two officers were responding to a child custody call. At some point, the officers heard gunshots, and that's when one of the officers noticed he had been hit. His partner pulled him to cover before placing a tourniquet on his leg. Now here's Police Chief John Hayden. The point that is most discouraging is the officers are just doing their job. They're just trying to interview persons. They're trying to they're trying to do what the community expects us to do and are coming under gunfire is what the what the, the message I want to get to the community. Officers are doing their jobs and this is the 11th time in, uh, since June the 1st that an officer has been shot just merely either interviewing someone, pulling a car over, whatever. The, what is normally expected of officers is what's going on and we're coming under gunfire. The chief says he did speak with the officer and says the officer is in good spirits. That officer is 24 years old and had been with the department just seven months. Now we are also following the shooting deaths of a man and a woman in North St. Louis County. Police say they were called to Lilac Avenue right at Dunn Road in 270 around 730 last night. A woman there found in a car, a man found lying in the street. Right now, police are not releasing details about possible suspects or motives, but they are asking anyone with information to call St. Louis County Police or Crime Stoppers. That number for Crime Stoppers, 866-37-TIPS. Remember, you can always call Crime Stoppers anonymously. This morning, we do have a piece of good news in the coronavirus vaccine rollout in our area. Next week, St. Louis County will start vaccinating health care workers outside of hospitals across the county. It comes as the Department of Health starts to administer vaccines to its own frontline workers. They started giving shots yesterday in Berkeley to county employees at John C. Murphy Health Center. In total, 270 county workers were scheduled to be vaccinated. Now, Kristen has a check of the weather. Lots of clouds across the area again today as we move into the afternoon. Those aren't going anywhere and that's really going to keep a lid on temperatures. My forecast high 36 degrees. That's about three degrees below average. Now looking ahead tomorrow's mostly cloudy. Another very chilly day on Monday. We'll see partly cloudy skies and by Tuesday finally sunshine and also the start of a nice big warm up. Looking ahead to Wednesday sunny and 50 partly cloudy on Thursday. A cold front comes through Thursday night bringing us a slight chance of rain, but again, probability is quite low. All in all, it looks like a largely dry seven day forecast.